happy that you're all here on behalf of the Middletown Portland Church. I'd like to welcome you to this concert. We hope that you are blessed when you leave here. There'll be refreshments served afterwards. And I want to share a verse with you. It's from Psalms 95, verses 1 through 3. It says, Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. Amen. Are you ready to praise him this evening? Amen. Amen. I'm going to invite our elder Fred to come up, and he is going to open with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, again, we're so thankful. We're so thankful for the gift of music, and uh, we pray that uh, our spirits will be uplifted, and by faith we can be in the heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Bless each person here, Father, with your presence, and uh, bless each musician here as well. And uh, may they do all to the glory, uh, to your glory, to your honor, and to the advancement of your kingdom. For we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. All right, our first musical selection this evening is going to be by the orchestra. So we're going to invite the orchestra members to come on up now. They will be playing two songs, Sweet By and By and Marvelous Grace. If you would like to follow along, there's a hymnal in the pew in front of you. It'll be number 428 to start with.
Beautiful. Thank you for that. Next, we're going to have Sasha and Alina. They have a poem that they will be sharing with us, followed by Rika singing a song and Pastor Tom. He is risen. Hallelujah. Death could not hold him down. The Savior of the world has triumphed, and eternal life he has crowned. He had... He conquered sin in the grave through, this, through his sacrifice and love and opened up the gates of heaven to all who seek him above. Let our hearts be filled with joy as we celebrate this glorious day, for our salvation is secure and we have found the truth and way. So let us lift our voices high and praise his holy name, for Jesus Christ has risen and our souls will never be the same. hymnal in the back of the pew that's in front of you has the words, it's number 516, all the way. All the way, my 
my Savior leads me, what have I to ask beside? Can I doubt His tender mercy, who through life has been my guide? Heavenly peace, divinest comfort, here by faith in Him to dwell. For I know whatever befall me, Jesus do with all things well. For I know whatever befall me, Jesus do with all things well. All the way my Savior leads me, cheers each winding path I tread, gives me grace for every trial, feeds me with the living bread. Though my weary steps may falter and my soul a thirst may be, Gushing from the rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see. Gushing from the rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see. All the way my Savior leads me, oh, the fullness of his love. Perfect rest to me is promised in my Father's house above. When I wake to life immortal, wing my flight to realms of day, this my song through endless ages, Jesus led me all the way. This my song through endless ages, Jesus led me all the way. Happy Sabbath. The first reading will be taken from Hebrews 4, verse 12. For the word of God is a living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, pressing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and it is a discerner of thoughts and intents of heart. Now we're going to be reading Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 through 10. But the God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loves us, even when we were dead uh, in the trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. And raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That is, the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you've been, uh, you have been saved through faith, and that is not uh, of yourselves. It is the gift of God, uh, not of the work, not of works, uh, le least anyone should uh, boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good workers which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Now we're going to be reading Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. For the reason I bow my knees uh, to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from, from whom the whole family in, the, in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit and in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you be being rooted and grounded in love. May be able to comprehend uh, with all the saints what is the width and length and depth of, and height uh, to, to know the love of Christ, which passes the knowledge that you that you, that you may be feel, filled with uh, all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we have asked or think, according to the power that it works in us, to, to him, him be glory, glory in the, the church, church by Christ, Christ Jesus to, to all generations, generations forever and ever. And ever. Amen. 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 Amen.
Now I'm going to be singing a song this evening. It is called His Eye is on the Sparrow. You may know it, and I pray it's a blessing to you.
Sabbath again to everyone. All right, and I am going to sing a, a well beloved um, newly Adventist song. I have fixed my eyes on another time, of course. It, it states very perfectly well on the experience of the Millerites. Um, of course, as we know, it was written by words spoken by William Miller. So, of course, you know, I pray that we continue meditating on all the beautiful songs and the words that is being song today. Oh, no, no. 
another time on another time I have set my course on the narrow way on the narrow way for I know the time is close at hand for which I watch and pray and that is today 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 until he comes I have set my course on the narrow way on the narrow way even so lord come quickly this is my fervent prayer for i've caught a glimpse of glory that you are enjoying this evening is helping you to fix your eyes on heaven and home. I know each of us have our own ways that we can share how God has blessed us in our life, but we will be privileged now to hear a personal testimony from our elder, Scott Tompkins. Hello, everybody. Happy Sabbath. Um, it's my uh, pleasure right now to share with you a very condensed version of my personal, personal testimony. Um, and it can be summed up by uh, really a testament to God's uh, grace and mercy. To those who don't know, grace is when you receive a reward that you have not earned. And uh, mercy is when you are rescued or saved from a punishment uh, that you do deserve. 
Um, and uh, that's what uh, my life has been a good testament of. I've done, made a lot of bad choices that should have probably ended in destruction, done a lot of bad things that uh, should not have gone unpunished, and I have uh, and continue to receive blessings that I have not earned. Um, and so that can only be uh, explained by God's supernatural um, grace and mercy. And uh, if anybody else has experienced something like me, um, I encourage you to uh, pray to God and study his word, and uh, he has a higher calling for you. Thank you for listening. Before we uh, do the, have the next group come up, first of all, I want to express appreciation for the, uh, the tremendous turnout that we've had here. And I see people from all the way from Newtown, Danbury area, see Juanita Klesitz come, came here, and we have some folks from our food pantry here, and just really excited to see this place filled. And um, Pat, isn't it exciting to see this place filled? You know, the last time that we gathered here with a crowd of this size was sadly for a funeral. It was Ernie Byron's memorial service. And so praise the Lord that we are not gathering here for a sad occasion like that, right? We're here to celebrate what the Lord has done. And really what we want to do here, and I apologize to all of you because we did not put this in the bulletin, but we would like to take up a love offering for the food pantry. And so at this time, our ushers will wait on us, Fred and Phil, and we'll make this very, very quick. But we just want to, you're not obligated to give, but we have been serving they just announced it today, Phil announced it during the prayer time, that we are now serving up to 70 people at the food pantry. And so it's a tremendous, tremendous ministry, so tremendous that even our sisters from the food pantry have joined us here, and they've come, they've come the farthest together. They've come all the way from Morocco to be with us here today, amen? Amen. Wave your hands if you're from Morocco, amen. 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 So, so Phil and Fred will be taking up the offering. And this goes for the food pantry to keep it open and to sustain the tremendous work that we're doing over there. So we really appreciate your ministry here through music today. Scott, your testimony, brief as it was, but powerful. Very powerful. And um, just everybody who's contributed Kyle came all the way down here to join us on AV, and we see Pat here today, and Laura, we thank you for your hosting and, and just leading out, and Willimantic Church helping us out with music, and uh, Waterford Church is even represented here, and, and so many folks, so we greatly appreciate this ministry, and I'm going to stop talking and hand the microphone back to Laura.
Persecuted and brought freedom. He, he was dead and brought life. He is risen and brings power. He reigns and brings peace. The world can't understand him. The armies can't defeat him. The schools can't explain him. The leaders can't ignore him. Herod couldn't kill him. The 
Pharisees couldn't confuse him, and the people couldn't hold him. Nero couldn't crush him, Hitler couldn't silence him, the New Age can't replace him, and Oprah can't explain him away. He is light, love, longevity, and Lord. He is goodness, kindness, gentleness, and God. He is holy, righteous, mighty, powerful, and pure. His ways are right, his word is eternal, his will is unchanging, and his mind is on me. He is my savior, he is my guide, and he is my peace. He is my joy, he is my comfort. He is my Lord, and he rules my life. I serve him because his bond is love. His burden is light, and his goal for me is abundant life. I follow him because he is the wisdom of the wise, the power of the powerful, the ancient of days, the ruler of rulers, the leader of leaders, the overseer of the overcomers, and is to come. And if that seems impressive to you, try this for size. His goal is a relationship with me. He will never leave me, never forsake me, never mislead me, never forget me, never overlook me, and never cancel my appointment in his appointment book. When I fail, he lifts me up. When I fail, he forgives when I am weak. He is strong when I am lost. He is the way when I'm afraid. He is my courage when I stumble. He steadies me when I'm hurt. He heals me when I am broken. He mends me when I am blind. He leads me when I am hungry. He feeds me when I face trials. He is with me when I face persecution. He shields me when I face problems. He comforts me when I face loss. He provides for me when I face death and he carries me home. He is everything for everybody, everywhere, every time, and every way. He is God, he is faithful, I am his, and he is mine. My Father in heaven can whip the father of this world. So if you are wondering why I feel so secure, understand this. He said it and that settles it. God is in control, I am on his side, and that means all is well with my soul. Every day is a blessing from God. Amen. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and bids me at my Father's throne. Make all Seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief, and office gave the tempter snare. The
sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, may I thy consolation share, till from Mount Pisgah's lofty high, I view In my immortal flesh I'll rise to seize the everlasting prize and shout while passing through the air farewell. I'm just, may I just say this? The last stanza says, as we are flying to Jesus, we say farewell, farewell, sweet hour of prayer. Can you imagine? We have all visited our prayer chambers every day. Some of us, most of the day. But there's coming a time where we're going to say farewell to that because we will be face to face with our God and commune with them for eternity. Praise God for that. Thank you. 
that you shared with us for the food pantry. We raised today over $420. We give glory to God. And, and again, you know, that really goes to the glory of God because we didn't plan on it. We didn't announce it or, or anything of that nature. The other thing I want to express an appreciation for Joseph and Lily for your organizing this. And this has been... Uh, this has been refreshing for me because this is my first time hearing the Three Angels Choir, and I heard it in the Middletown Church, of all things. So it's just been real refreshing for that. Uh, but I want to, before I share my message, I want to invite you to pause with me to open with a word of prayer. Father God, we want to thank you for this joyous occasion to celebrate Jesus, Esau. And we pray that your blessing would be with us as we open your word and spend these brief few moments just examining your word and allowing your word to examine our hearts. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, I don't know about you, but I was able to find a theme through all the songs. Did you hear that too? Did you hear any sense of kind of unity, kind of a one thought idea? I see Jermaine nodding your head, yes. And I'm just going to call out some of the songs and just how they fit together for me. But just think about this. Um, there was Sweet By and By. Well, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, if you have your program, just look at it. But the, it seemed like there was a theme of a journey. Did you catch that? Okay, Jermaine, you, I know you were listening. That, yeah, there was this journey, and, and I, we're, on the, we're connecting here. But, you know, listen to the songs. I'd rather have Jesus, okay? Because if you're on a journey, um, you have to make choices. And, you know, Rika is saying, that's where I first caught it and just allowed me to kind of think of what I was going to say here today. And then I sang All the Way, which is kind of a journey type idea. Uh, Laura is saying, his eye is on the sparrow. Okay? So if you're on a journey, the idea that God watches over us, even if he watches over the sparrow, he's going to care for us. And on and on it went. Um, Elena and Emily, they sang Risen, which really isn't about a journey. It kind of put the spotlight back exactly on Jesus, the idea of the power of the resurrection. But what I saw consistently was this focus on Jesus, what he's done for us, and the idea of pressing on on our journey. Did, did you catch that at all? Okay, some of you caught that. Some of, and um, so then the other part of it that I want to do is just share this passage from Proverbs chapter 3. Today's the third day of the month, and one of the things I always try to do is read the chapter from Proverbs for that day. Uh, there's 31 days in a month, usually, unless it's February or some other month, but if you read a chapter a day from Proverbs, you can finish the entire book in one month. Some books of the Bible you can finish in 30 minutes, you know, like Philemon and Titus and, and stuff like this. But I'm one of my favorite, I don't have a favorite book, but one of my favorites is Proverbs. And the reason is, it's because it's so practical. I mean, practical. It, it talks about daily living, right? And we need wisdom. It's all about wisdom, and we need wisdom for daily living. Now, for this journey that we're on, because we're on a journey called life, right? All of us, young or old, doesn't matter whether we've come from near or far, we are all on a journey of life. And I think what fits really well with the theme of what's been happening, the underspoken theme or the unspoken theme, and the songs that match up is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. And here's what it says. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, 
acknowledge him, and he shall do what? He shall direct your paths. The theme that I heard from this concert is that we're on a journey, and we're on this path, and we need understanding from God, because we are not smart enough, we're not clever enough, we don't have enough talent or ability, we're not strong enough to make it on our own. But there is one who has conquered, and there was that poem that was read by Nate and Alex, and I wish you could have read it again. I, I made the request, I put my request in, but it didn't go through, and that's okay, I'm okay with that. But it was, there was a bad microphone problem, and I, and I texted Laura, I said, Laura, can you get him to do it again? And, um, but it really spoke well of Jesus and what he he's did. He's the center of human history, right? This one person, born in this outback place in Palestine, you know, in a manger stall, and he has, his message is universal. You, you can't overshadow it with anything. And, and, and he's the wisest person who ever lived. But he's more than just a man, right? He was a teacher. Some say he was a prophet. But the Bible says he was the word of God become flesh. And the beauty of it all is that we can have God's word in our heart to guide us each and every day, each and every day. And we, we need Jesus because he has promised to return. Amen? Amen? He wants to bring us to him. And for my sisters who've come all the way from Morocco, Isha is returning. Amen. Isha is returning. Did I get that right, Shaheen? Isha. Isha is returning. Yeah. And so we have um, Justin who's going to sing about the holy city. And this is a place where one day, by God's grace, and God's grace only, we can all be there. Amen? Amen. And he's going to sing about this magnificent place that none of us have ever been, but is described in this book. And so I would urge you, I would encourage you to spend time learning about that city and how we're going to live in that city and, and this wonderful Savior that we have called Isa, Jesus. Amen? Amen? Because he is promised to return, and he is returning soon. Amen? Amen. And uh, this, this uh, uh, building that's filled right now, right now it's filled with you know, current Seventh-day Adventists. One day I hope it's going to be filled with new Adventists. <laughs> Amen? And, uh, you know, my first Sabbath here, when I came here a year and a half ago, uh, there was 13 of us. And four of them was my wife and I and my two boys. But here's the, th here's the issue. It is the contribution of people like Jermaine and Jernique and Denia and the Harris family and others who have come to join. Scott has given us counsel and come and preached and shared here. Curtis has always lent a hand, okay? We have a host of people who are cooperating to build this place up. And I know, I am confident, I'm, this is not arrogance, this is not pompousness, this is based on faith in what God has already promised, that he will build his church, amen? It's not Pastor Tom building God's church. God builds his church, because it's his church. But here's the thing, is that I've already seen it happen in Willimantic. And the Willimantic people are here today. They came all the way from Willimantic 
to help us build up what we're doing here today, to see to it that the gospel is preached. And folks, that's what's going to be necessary in these last days, is all of us cooperating together, together in mission, amen? amen. All of us together in mission. It's no more, the time is over where we kind of slinker along one little church all by itself, just hunkering, you know, hunkering in the bunker and fighting the good fight of faith and, and uh, struggling as we go along. Really, what it is is we all come in together and we cooperate and we work together as the body of Christ, okay? So that's what we've done here this afternoon. And by the grace of God, we've been able to preach uh, the good news even to our sisters from Morocco. Amen? So they can hear that. Esau's coming, yeah. Yeah, this is good news. So we want to have Justin come up now and bring the capstone of this song to uh, this concert to an end. Uh, that is the Holy City. So Justin, come on up here. And uh, after, before we have the closing prayer, I just want to come back up here and just make a quick appeal. But Justin, go ahead and take it away.
So our last song is when the roll is called up yonder. And the, the phrase is, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Do you want to be there? Yes. Amen. Do you want to be in that city that Justin just sang about? Yes. Amen. Here's the decision. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. got some really exciting news. I had, just in the moment from when I went to the back and came back up here, I had not one, not two, not but three people remind me to say, Pastor, when you have the closing prayer, can you have the blessing on the food? So that means there must be some really delicious food downstairs. <laughs> and we want to get better acquainted with you. We want to fellowship with you. We want to just you know, mingle and fellowship, so we want you to come on down there. In fact, we had a woman who, from the food pantry who brought a whole dish of beans and rice, but she didn't come. She didn't stay. She just dropped it off from the food pantry, which means we get to eat that up. So we need your help, all right? So let's pray. Father in heaven, we want our names written on that great scroll, and we want our names covered in your blood because we are sinful people, but we cannot lean to our own understanding. We want to trust you with all of our heart. And so we just pray your blessing upon every decision made here this afternoon. We thank you for the gospel in song that has encouraged us on this path of life. We pray that you would bless us as we fellowship, bless the meal and the food and the fellowship, and that we will be able to just Grow, grow closer together to you and be strengthened in our faith walk. And we pray that as these Sabbath hours ebb out, that you would give us strength for the new week ahead of us. 
We thank you for hearing and answering this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.